Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. I am just racing back at breakneck speed with the Jack Bear and our new fertilizer spinner back to our yard. And then we do have a couple of other machines that we could go and get. I could go up here and I could go and get that one there, which is the liquid manure spreader. Um, Hang on, that's that's the liquid manure spreader. So we don't have a solid manure spreader yet. We've got the fertilizer spreader that I've, I'm, I'm sort of running with at the moment. Um, I didn't actually say what it is. But yeah, I'm, I'm running with that one. So uh, we could go and do some more quests today. Or we could try and do a little bit of something to our own fields. Now, the bales that I took and I stacked up in our shed. Turns out that they're no good for using for the cows. So what we might do instead is we might grab those run them up and sell them and then we could also buy some cows because I would very much like to get some cows we don't have any yet and I figure it'd be you know quite a good addition to the farm as well so we'll get back to the yard and we'll get some sleep and then we'll see what we're gonna do you know I've been thinking uh oh I hear you say yes I realize that it is a dangerous thing to try and do is to think too much if we could buy that field right there that's right beside us now that's not very far away from our farm. Our farm is literally just down here. Uh, there. There is our farm. There's the two fields right down below us. So if we could buy this field here, we could then run the combine up here and we could harvest this field. We've got a whole load of bales that we could get off of that field as well. And it's right there. And the sell point for bales is here, the agricultural market. So we've got even less distance to go than we did with all our bales because we're running our bales up this road here and along and then up the road there in between so yeah i'd like to buy that field there if i can so i'm gonna well, well we're gonna go home we're gonna go and sleep and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna see if we can buy that field because if we can uh we can also get the bales from down here but um i'm hoping that it's wheat and if it is wheat we can we we can sell all of it and when we got canola that we can sell we've got uh, wheat that's in one of the other silos that we can sell as well. We could go and we can sell a load more straw. We'll be in a position then where we could actually afford to go and buy the bigger tractor. I really want to get the bigger tractor because I feel it's going to be a bit faster on the road than this old jalopy that we're running around in at the moment. So we'll, we'll just take a look. So let's just go inside and get some sleep and then we can seriously consider buying some more land. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this idea. The more I think about it, the more I think that this is actually one of my better ideas. And it, it the amazing thing is I've actually come up with it myself. Um, this is where we find out that we can't actually buy that field, isn't it? Um, yeah, well, that, 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 that would be awkward. Uh, right, we, we're on 47 food condition. So how much? Oh, we get 10 from an egg. Sweet. Okay, eggs are brilliant. We love eggs. We can eat eggs. You know what I'm like with eggs in my... Um, time-lapse series and many of you have previously mentioned the fact that I have so many eggs in my time-lapse series well now you get to watch me eat hundreds and hundreds of eggs in this series as well there they are there they are look at them there you are come to daddy come to Frithgar oh yeah <laughs> eggs 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 look at them all they're beautiful they're glorious they're so tasty do I have a light do I, do, do I have a torch I have no torch! I cannot see the eggs clearly. This is not good. This is unacceptable. I have no lights in here either. My chickens are all going to escape. Look at the number of eggs that we are getting. This is just phenomenal. I don't know what they've been drinking or eating or what, but these 10 chickens are producing a phenomenal amount. 45 eggs we've got now. I can't remember how much they sell for. Um... I don't know, but eggs are really good. We love eggs. We like our eggs. Eggs is brilliant. And if I just go over here a minute, I'm just going to close that one. So I want to go back up to that road. I'm going to grab the old farm truck over here if I can. There we go. Leap into you. Let's go out this way so that we can avoid ramming into our tractor and our other machinery if we're careful. Okay, we want to go straight up there and we'll see if we can buy this field. I don't know if we can. I don't know how you go about buying other people's land. The truck jumped. We definitely we, we got airborne then on the truck. Look at that. Oh, it didn't get airborne very much then. That, that was that was disappointing. Um, let's stop right there a minute. Jump out and okay. So we go like this. Wheat. One point eight seven. How how do I buy it? Ah, just enter the field and purchase. There we go. Buy for fourteen thousand nine hundred and sixty. Or you can use social points for a discount. 
7,414. I've got 6,000. Um, how many social points do I have? I got six grand at the moment. I have 55,000 social points. I just need a bit more cash. Right. We've got... Can I chuck bales into the back of this pickup? It would be a lot faster to sell the bales if I can sling them in the back of here. I've only got like nine of them. It's just anchor... Oh, I know what I can do. I can sell grain. I, I can sell grain. All right. Let's, let's come back down here. What's that? Oh, that's a stone. I thought I thought it was something valuable for a minute, something really cool or awesome. Um, oh, nice! I did actually do a proper jump. Then that's what I'm, I'm, I've been wanting to do, like a proper jump with with something for a while, and I haven't been yet been able to do it. So let's just come around here, and easy does it. We may have to use the bale trailer. What we may actually have to do is, if I just stop there a minute. Um, Where's the, where, where's the, oh, the bales are over this side. What we may actually have to do is just ignore the bales and sell something else instead. So let me just grab a bale. Bring it over here. And I can't jump with the bale. Okay, I, I, I can take one bale. And it does actually go into the pickup. Okay, I'm going to move this one over a little bit because it, it's going to make it a bit easier to work on. And if I stop right there, and then we... Ooh, okay. What, what, what is this game doing to me? Can I move that barrel? I can. The barrel moves as well. Okay, let's let's weave in and out here. Um, lifting the bale, if I, if I do it like that... Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's sort of putting me in, and then dropping me... I'm not, I'm not really sure how it's working. I can enter the pickup. I can lift the bale there. What about that one? I can lift that bale as well. I can't jump with the bales. This this is the only downside to this, is I can't jump with the bales. But I, I think I know how that I can do this. If I put that one up there like that, I can I can jump up here, and then I can move over there like that, and then drop the bale. Uh, drop. Drop, 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 drop. There. Okay, so I can drop the bale. And I've I've also jumped outside the pickup again, which is, is not really what I'm after. Uh, let's go like that. Okay. Well, it's sort of stacking the bales up, but it, it, it is kind of putting them in. Um, this isn't really what I had in mind, though. Let's see what happens if I do this. That's, um, that's, that's pushing the bale around a bit, if I do that. Nope. No, I don't want to do that. What about if I jump up? Lift that bale. And uh, nope. Right, it doesn't work as well as I was hoping. Lift that bale there. And then drop the bale. And then... Right, okay. We're, we're going to give this up as a bad job. We're, we're going to drop these back down here. I'm going to actually ignore these bales for a minute. What we're going to do is we're going to go and... We're going to take these. Lift the bale. We're going to bring these. We're going to dump them back in here. If I can. There, drop the bale. Just a couple more. No! Stop putting me in, in the truck. I don't want to be in the truck. I don't want to go in the truck. I want to pick up these bales. Right, pick up and stay in there for a minute. Hang its head in shame. It's failed us at its task. So we're going to bring this one over here. I'm going to dump that one right there like that. And then I'm going to anchor on round here. I'll tell you what. We're going to just take a look at the prices. We're going to go map like that. And then we are going to go... So the, the market up here... Canola is 792 euros a tonne. Down here, the mill is 700 euros a ton for barley, uh, 576 for wheat. Um, no, I don't want to do that. I want to there, and this one is wheat is 360. So we want to sell up there. Is there any other places that we can? I don't think there are other places that we can sell. I think that is it. I've got agricultural store. I can buy seeds there. Okay, I don't have any barley, but I do have wheat at 576, and then there I can take um, canola at 792 per ton. And I got a load of canola in here. I need to go and get my trailer to um, load up canola. So we're going to go and get a load of this, and we're going to take it, and we're going to sell it, and then we're going to use social points, and we're going to go and buy that field of wheat, and then we can harvest that one, and we can um, do all of that stuff in that field as well. It's going to give us an extra field. An extra field, I feel, would be absolutely brilliant, because... Not only are we going to get a huge chunk more cash than we currently have, we are also going to get um, 
extra things. But what? Uh, where, where do I need to go to un to get the, the grain? I think. Oh, I need to. I know. I know where I need to go. Um. Yeah, we're we're gonna be able to get the tractor. The tractor is the bit that I want to get. I really want to go and buy the new tractor. I feel it's going to be faster. I feel it's going to be much better. It's going to be the bee's knees. That's where I want to go. I want to go under there. So I need to open that one and that one. And I'm going to close that door there just so that it's not in the way. And then I'm going to leap back under you. This is going to be it. This is it. We, we can go in here. So this is going to buy us our first field. Well, our, our third field, actually. Right. So there we go like that. Grain disposal. Enter. That loads up. There we go. Right. We have got... Canola, yes, Canola is giving us 3,000, 4,200 kilos of Canola. Fantastic. Bring that round there. And off we go. There we go. Look at, look at that. I love the way that it is nicely heaped up like that. That is actually looking pretty good. Although the Canola is the wrong color. It should be noted that the Canola is currently the wrong color. Um, I'm guessing there is only currently one color in the game for grain. That's fine. We don't mind. We can put up little details like that. They have bigger fish to fry right now. They're currently dealing with their legal issues. Um, once that's dealt with, then they will be back and they will be updating. At least I'm hoping they will be. Because otherwise we've, we've kind of invested all this time, effort and money. Not to say, you know, money. It's, it's very important. Um, it will have all been for nothing. So I'm really, really hoping that they're able to iron out these little issues. Uh, we are here. We are over here. We want to go to there. We well, Yeah, we need to just carry on along this road. We need to get to the crossroads and then we need to... Yes, I see where we need to go. Um, we need to turn right down the end here. There is a birdie there. It would be very cool if they do add hunting. Several people have said they would like to see hunting added into the game. I concur. I think hunting would be excellent. So we're going to run this up, but we're going to go straight to the agricultural market. The wheat is a much further run to go. So, I I mean, ideally I'd like the bigger tractor before then. I don't know how much we can get for the straw from this field. This is a big field, right? We, we could do quite well out of this field. It will depend. I mean, we may have to sell all of the canola so that we've got room to store all the wheat off of this field. We will see. We'll soon find out. So we can go racing up through here at these breakneck speeds of 23k per hour. Which is, um, slow. Painfully slow. We'll get there eventually. I'm, I'm curious what the top speed of the other tractor is. And also what the capacity of the new trailer will be as well. Of course, the ultimate question we need to be asking is not how much we get for it this time. But whether or not us selling a load of canola now is going to make the prices fluctuate later on. I'm a little curious about this. I don't... I, I'm pretty sure that those prices haven't really changed. So we're, we're going to run this over and we'll soon find out. We're going to bring this round. Anchor on round the corner. There we go. We just got to get over that little bridge right there and then we can dump it out and we will sell and we will see if the price changes. So we, we need to come up here and we need to stop like that. There. What? Oh, raise the trade. We, do, we can sell here. So before we do that, let's just double check what the price is going to be. We have... Canola, 792 euros per tonne. So we go R for raise like that. Look at the money. Look at the sweet, sweet moolah rolling in 9,407. That is all done. Uh, lower the trailer now. That can drop back down. It does tend to make us drift around quite a lot when we're raising and lowering for some strange reason. Right, so let's just move, uh, move the mouse around. 700, it's still on 792, so that doesn't alter the price at all. We're now in a position where we can go buy that field. And we're also in a position, we, we could just keep selling grain for a minute. I mean, 792 is pretty sweet. That is a good quantity. But it's, it's also a long trip, and it takes a long time with this tractor and trailer. So I'm kind of wanting to find a quicker way of doing this, and I'm thinking that buying that field would be a good start. Uh, can we see what's in the fields if we if we mouse over them? Field info NA doesn't actually give us anything. Just just NAs everywhere. That's that's all we got. We got one hectare there. We got 0.7. Um, there's a two hectare field right here. Is that is that that one right there in front of us? I mean, for convenience, this would be a very cool field to do. But um, obviously, it's not next. This is the one that would we'd want to be selling this stuff in the windmill, and we, the windmill's not here. But what's that in that field over there? That's the one to find out, because this one here, this is more wheat. If I just stop there a second, I jump off. Uh, we look here. 
and right click this is wheat ready for harvest this is 1.9 hectares uh we are here oh that's two hectares that's the 1.9 so what's this one over oh this one over here this this is this is done this this is empty it's all finished it's this one up here that i want to see what's this one over here is this one finished or done um i think that's just corn actually maize maize ready for harvest there that's 0.7 hectares now if we take a we got a maize header and maize sells for 450 euros per ton we can't sell it down there. that's just wheat and barley down there um hmm how much is this field if i look in here this one i can get for three and a half grand i'm not gonna buy that one and this one over here i mean yes we'd have further to go to empty the grain out of the tank um because we'd have to take it back to our main yard however the bales we're literally right next door for selling the bales and we could do this one and then we could go and buy the other one with the money that we get and then we've got two fields and then we can sell all the grain after that is that gonna work i don't know it's this it could be a bit risky uh oh decisions decisions oh you know what let's just let's go for it go for it let's go for it by 7,700, we've now got 40,000 and we got 1,600. We have bought this field. So we need this tractor and trailer up here. What we need to do is we need to go back home and we need to get our combine. So we're going to go back down here. Let's go um, old machine. Old, there we go. That's the one that I want. You right there. So we need to hitch on that grain header. We're going to want that one. And we can start racing back up towards our new field and we can get going straight away with the harvest. I am curious if this decision of mine is something that I'm going to regret. It may take us a while to... Oh, I forgot that you don't actually break those things off. You just hit them as you go past. <laughs> we didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, I, I'm curious if this is going to be a decision that I regret. So we want to do that, and we want to do that. And then we just want to press T to get it started. And we are away. So we're leaving loads of straw all over the ground. So, I mean, we'll be able to do this. It's gonna, it's just going to be a little bit time-consuming because this is a big field. Compared to the other field that we did, this is, this is a big-ish field. I'm also thinking that it would be more prudent for us, rather than running this grain back to the actual farm, uh, this time we're here. The windmill is here. So we literally just need to run down that road, along there, down there, and in round here. It's double the distance of going back to the farm going back to the farm is still a bit of a distance though so i think we may actually be it may benefit us more just to run straight down to the um windmill and sell the grain straight off the field that might be the way forward so we got 40 percent in there at the moment um got the tractor over there i might actually bring the tractor over to the combine in a minute we'll see about doing that uh we'll see how far we get a 60 percent we're not even going to get once around the field. This, this, yeah, this, this is going to take a while. This is definitely going to take us quite a long time to be able to complete this field. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll do a couple rounds around the outside. Uh, let's just bring that one in over there. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a couple rounds around the outside, and then we'll just start working up and down on that um, side there. I want to do the couple rounds around the outside just to try and keep the straw more centered into the field it's going to be easier to deal with it's just going to be so much easier to deal with if we can do that it's on 93 percent we are almost full i i need to stop now there you are overfilling the combine harvester right we've got that one so then if i go there's no easy way to jump between machines is there but what i can do is i can do that and i can zoom in like this and then I can just click on the tractor and it will jump to it like that. So we can we can do it reasonably quickly. We can go through the small shrubs as well. That does make life a bit easier as well. So we go racing up here. Now we get 300 euros per ton if we sell it right here. 550 if we take it down to the windmill. So obviously we're going to have to take it to the windmill because we get nearly double the amount of money down there. Um, but it is worth noting that 350 if the prices do fluctuate over time, it's definitely worth us um, considering not put selling everything down at the windmill. We're going to jump into here and then V to... No. What did I just do? Oh, I thought for a minute I pressed the wrong button. I, I genuinely had a minor heart attack. It's F to move the discharge pipe like that. V is to start, stop spilling the grain. 
And, um, yeah, you've you got to make sure that you've actually got it lined up above the trailer or it doesn't work. It does dump it to the ground. And you've got no indication as to whether or not it's going to successfully dump it in the trailer or elsewhere. So we drop everything in there that is 28% on that trailer. So then if I... Um, I can actually just leave the spout out, can't I? So I go like that. Nope, I want to lower it down. I want to do that. And I just want to press T. And we're going to go on around the field... We're going to keep doing our first round around the outside of the field. Um, F is to do the discharge pipe. I can just press F as we go along and it will put it back in. So it's not out, it's not stuck right out. and It's not going to cause us any issues. Just in case it might think about it. Um, we can, we can, the amount of bales that we're going to get off this field is going to be seriously impressive, I think. And then if you add to that the fact that you get all of that money from those bales, we're going to get a fortune. We may be able to afford that new tractor that I so desperately want just from doing this field here. You're moving too fast. Oh, I'm, I'm just pressing T, but it's because I'm moving downhill. I actually really like that. Gravity is doing something with it. Now, you may be able to hear some noise in the background. That is actually my neighbors doing a load of work at the moment, a load of construction work. Um, I am trying to make sure that I, um, I don't have all of the construction work noise going on, but it is creeping in in places. So just assume that our neighbors right there are busy doing a whole load of work on their property, um, and that's where the noise is coming from. I feel that that is probably the best way. It's also going to be highly realistic, if, if that's what we assume at all times. There we go, 1,200 kilos exactly. So let me just put that one out, and while that one is running out i can jump over to my tractor over here and we can go racing on down and we can take the next load so we've got two loads now we can yeah we're, we're going to make sure this trailer is filled right up before we go dashing off anywhere i'm going to do twice more around the field and we've done once around the field and we've had two tanks of grain i'm starting to think you know it was a good idea to buy this field but we may still end up regretting it all right let's unload that one into there so that trailer is now running all the way up to 57% with 2,400 kilos. And we do that, and then we start it up. No, 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 we start it up with Z, don't we? And then T is auto run, and we can carry on around the field. So once more around the field, we'll fill that trailer up completely, and then we can go racing off down towards the mill to sell and make our fortunes. Um, well, we're not exactly going to make a fortune. I mean, we got 2,400 on board. I think it's like 4,000. Is it 4,000 that we get on there? Might be slightly less than that. So we'll get about two grand for the load. Thereabouts. Maybe slightly more, maybe slightly less. I don't exactly remember. Um, it's not going to be... It's, it, I mean, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But, uh, yeah, we, we definitely want to think about... Um, that the, the new tractor, I, I really, really want the upgraded tractor. And that one is, it's like 25,000 pound, uh, euros, isn't it? Is it 25,000? i got a feeling it's 25,000, which is a small fortune to say the least. Let's just bring this one on up around here and keep on going. Just keep on chugging. Uh, we're on 75% at the moment. We'll fill this one up. Yeah, we're going to do... Well, all we're going to have time for today is to do our, our final round around the field here. And then we can start working on the land work in tomorrow's episode. And I'm hoping also tomorrow that we'll get most of this harvest finished. And we can also bring up the baler as well. Right, let's just stop right there a minute. And we can switch over to... I wish there was a quick way to switch to the tractor. Just a, a button like tab or something. Tab doesn't do it though. There we go. I can eventually get there. So we press T and that auto runs and then we can go racing up through there. We've got all this straw. I'm seriously tempted to start bailing already. It's a shame that you don't have something like follow me. You can't set this tractor to follow the combine around the field. And then like um, employ some employees to come and do that. That would be the best. The other thing that I'm going to regret about this field is the fact that we've got to do all the work ourselves at the moment. We don't have any option for hired help. I can't tell somebody else to go and plow the field for me and that is going to be the one thing that i really don't like about this game is the fact that i've got to do it myself because one thing with farming simulator is things like plowing cultivating stuff like that i don't particularly enjoy doing it it's very dull it's very very dull work and i, I I'm, I'm not a fan i'm not a fan of doing the really dull stuff so i love the fact that you can just set a hired help to do it 
and the hired help goes along, they deal with all those problems. You don't have to worry about it. So we can just unload that into there. More wheat going in. 85% full. Right, let's um, go on for our very last load of the day. Hit this one on through. I'm just going to leave that spout out as it is. It's going to be easier. So we're going to come running down through this side. And twice around the field, I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe we could just start working up and down now. No, we, we do need three. Three times around the outside gives us enough room to properly turn on the headlands while staying within the field. That's the whole point of doing this, is that we want to be able to stay within the bounds of the field and still um, move up and down. You can see we, we do start to increase in speed ever so slightly as we go down the hill. So we are losing a little bit of crop as we come down there, but it's okay. We've saved the day. Once we get down here, we're all right. Swing back up a little bit there and then go back into the crop. Keep going. 50%. So we're going to go a little bit more than halfway, you know, right back to the start this time. Which is, that's okay, that's fine. We're quite happy with that. And, I mean, I don't actually need to fill this one right up this time either. So we can stop there and then back up a little bit. And away we go again. I'm curious how many, ba well, I, I don't know how many bales we're going to get. I'm curious how much money we're going to end up with after harvesting this field. If we're selling all of the wheat direct to the mill, and we're also selling the bales direct up here to the farmer's market, just how much are we going to get? We're going to get an absolute fortune for it. I'm hoping that we will break that 25k mark. Right, we got 98, 99. Uh, and not that it really matters, because I can't fit all of this into the tractor anyway. Um, I want to go there, and then I want to go and click on that one. Right, you're away. Look at the way the trailer moves. That is something I don't like. That is definitely something I don't like. I don't like that in any game. I don't like it in Farming Simulator. I don't like it in this game. And I'm, I'm trying to think of any other games where I actually play where they slide around like that. But I'm sure that it does happen in Gold Rush a little bit. When, when we're trying to play around with the... Um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, the wheel loader. The wheel loader in particular is guilty of doing that. And you know what I think about anybody who watches my Gold Rush series, you're already familiar with how I feel about that um, um, awful, awful, awful wheel loader. I really detest that machine. I don't know why, but I absolutely hate it. I really do. It's awful. Right, we'll bring that one up there and we'll unload. So we're looking in here and that is 100%. No! Seriously? It carried on going, and all the grain that was in the harvester carried on emptying out. I needed to stop. Ah. Okay. We have that to be aware of for the future. Uh, we can... We, we've just lost most of our tank of grain there. That was um, unfortunate, to say the least. Because if, if I go forward, I'm just going to start it up a little bit. I'm just going to move forward a little tiny bit there. You can see we're on 0%. I, I Basically, I just dumped all of that grain onto the floor. That is that is harsh, dude. That is seriously harsh. We're not there's no there's nothing anywhere to pick it up. It's just gone. The whole lot is lost. Now I don't think we can cut across that field, even though it's somebody else's crops. I still don't think we can cut. It's 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 not crops. I was going to say. Um, I still don't think we can actually cut across the field without upsetting people. So we're not going to try and do that. What I do need to do now is I need to remember the way to the mill. So we oh no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to come down here. We need to go until we can turn off. Well, I can turn off. And I can also take a shortcut up across here. And there's nobody telling me that I'm not allowed to take a shortcut up across here. So this is what I'm going to do. It's open common land. And if it's open common land, it means that we can use it for whatever purpose we need to. And I need to use it for this purpose. So we are taking our shortcut. We're just going to hope that we don't lose social points from doing such a thing. And then we can get to the mill a little bit quicker. We're also going to go and see how much that um, tractor is. I think it's up there at the farm machinery store, which is very close by. I don't know how many social points we need for the um, the cheap option. I'll tell you what. Let's park the tractor right here because uh, I don't want to have to go too far. I think I can run faster than the tractor can go. It's actually about the same. Which is kind of sad, really, that we can... Is, is that slow? Right, this field here is sown with lupines. 1.25 hectares. Lupine sells up here for 756 euros. Peas. 
Peas are the way forward. I think we're going to plant peas in one of our fields because those seem to sell for a fortune. But there is the tractor. There it is. And the trailer as well. I wonder how much that trailer is. Can I, hit, can I tow this trailer with the tractor that we've got by the Flegel? 9,000 euros and 18,000 social points. I can afford both of those. And what was that? 110... Uh, 11,000 kilos. 11 tons. I can take 11 tons in that trek. That's actually pretty good. That is actually pretty good. Right, this one right here. 45,000 euros and 90,000 social points. Okay, that is a bit more of an issue. Um, fuel tank, BHP. It doesn't tell me what the speed is. That's a shame. Right. Um, that is, a, that is a great shame. Apparently, this is the only tractor that there is in the game. There's, there's two of these, I think. Um, or at the moment, anyway. So, 90,000 social points. We've got 40,000. We need more social points, and we also need, uh, how much was, how, I've, I've already forgot, 45,000 euros. So we either need 45,000 euros, or we need to get, um, actually, I can just do it like this. Uh, we can go there. Right. We need either 45,000 euros and 90,000 social points, or we need to get um, 90 grand. One or the other, both of which are rather expensive options. Now, the field that we bought wasn't actually that expensive. Uh, let's just take a look at the map. We've got an old cedar there that we can buy. There's a quest. And... Oops. I definitely didn't mean to do that. Um, what else have I got? I got field owner, field owner. I got my old... I got my machine up there. So there's one quest here. That's all we got. That's just the the only quest that is currently available is that one there. So let's carry on down here, down towards the mill. The mill is over there. It's actually quite a way in the distance. Um, it is unfortunate. It's just going to take a long time to sell all this stuff, isn't it? Cows. Cows are the way forward. We need to buy some cows. If we go and buy some cows, then we have milk that we can sell every day. I, d I don't know how profitable it is going to be doing that. I mean, we've got the eggs that we can sell, and well, there are a few I mean, fish. Fishing is probably not the way to get rich. So, we, I mean, we, 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 can take, we can take a serious look at some cows. I might go and take a look at the price of those and see how much they cost to buy, whether or not I think it would be worth doing it immediately, or we should wait a while. We also do want to get a few more seeds to go into the greenhouse. Now, I could go along a road or I could just go in a straight line straight across here, just because it's quicker. Um, and there should be a road going this way. So we're going to go this way, because it's faster. And this, unfortunately, is all I've got time for today. So we will just get this one up here and we'll sell it. But if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a, a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And we'll just get straight up here so that we can sell this for the 500... Is it 5... Ooh! You know, it's the old mill. Perhaps it would be nice to talk to the owners. Okay, so we can earn some social points while we're here. I'll tell you what. As we've got... A, uh, uh, hmm. I'm going to save the game a minute. Right, let's go running up here. We can talk to the owners and we can see what we're able to do. Now, first of all, I'd like to sell some grain. But, I mean, we've got the owners here. So maybe they've got something that we can do as well. I'm just going to stop right there. And I'm going to speak to... Actually, I don't know. There, there, there is some work that I need doing. Hello, my name's Sybil. Hello, my name's Sybil. And who might you be? I live on the farm nearby. Saw this mill from afar. Just wondering if it's still working. Well, barely. We try to make eco flour and sell it to bakeries. But farmers prefer to sell grains elsewhere. We even raised prices as much as we could afford it, but still not I many will. people I visit will. us. So you say I can sell you my grains for a better price? Yes, at least for a time being. And remember, we take wheat and barley only. It's good to know. I'll keep that in mind. I... oh, me. Well, hope to see you soon. Yep, okay, right. Uh, you receive 500 social points. Check map for updated objectives. What updated objective? There is no updated objective. Um, right, well, he doesn't look like he wants to sell. But we've now got 40,600 social points. There is a way. You know, we've got that quest there, but apparently... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, it, right here. 
I can hear lots of banging going on around me. I apologize if it's coming through. Um, place to relax, meet people, trade, and you can ask for work up here. So we're going to go up there and we're going to see if we can get some work at some point soon. But first of all, we've obviously, we've got to finish doing our harvest. We've bought this new field, so we're going to have to do something with it. So let's just bring this one on over to here. Bring that one up over there. There we go. There we go. Stop now. Now raise the trailer and sell we're getting thousands and thousands and look how much my tractor is spinning round as we sell here but there is the mill we've, we've so, so three thousand nine hundred euros we got now so we've only got eighty six thousand euros to go that's all it's not very much we get this done in no time um yeah you wish frith you wish Right, that is all i got time for today. So, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.